In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to solve iris shaders for Minecraft 1.19. And not only how to solve iris, but how to fix any issues you might have along the way. So let's get started. I think it's worth mentioning before we start that if you click the first link in the description right now, you could get a server with Apex Hosting, one of the best hosting websites. I have already used them in the past and they're amazing. So if you want to get a server, you can go ahead and use the first link in the description. You know, they have Java and Bedrock Edition servers and they will help you set up the servers with mods, without mods. If you want to do our craft, if you want to have anything you want to have in there, they'll Help you set it up so that's down there in the first link in the description and now let's move on with the tutorial okay step number one is to download iris so how do we download iris we click the first link in the description of this video which will bring you to our written guide our written tutorial on how to do this feel free to scroll through the pages and learn how to do it the main thing in here is just to click this big download iris here button okay big button don't mess up click that button and that is going to bring you over here where we're going to click download now that is going to open this up and we're going to click download universal jar as you can see we're downloading a universal jar file or a jar file File. In other words, go ahead and click on that and that is going to immediately start the download in the bottom left. I'm going to drop that into the desktop so we could keep it handy. Your file is probably going to be in your downloads folder anyways. Once we download the universal jar, we're going to need to install the jar file. But how do we install a jar file? We need Java and not any Java. Minecraft 1.19 requires you to have Java 18th, which is the newest version of Java. How do you download that? Don't worry. Go ahead and close this website. Go ahead and close the first one as well and click on that third link in the description, which will bring you over here on how to download and install Java 18th, a written guide, of course, that we have in our website but the main thing in here is to click this big red button here that says download java here go ahead and click on that that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to scroll down until you see java i think find your operating system in my case it's windows click on windows and then find x64 installer very important that you install the x64 installer because if you install any of these some other extra software might come in and you only want the x64 installer so go ahead and click on this blue link in here that is going to immediately start the download for the installer of java 18 jdk window installer as you can see in here we're going to drop that into the desktop of course because we always drop it into the desktop and don't worry i'm going to show you how to update java and how to get rid of any other versions as well so you don't have any issues anyways let's go ahead and drop the installer into the desktop we could go ahead and close out from this website and this one as well and click on that fourth link right fourth thing yes it's gonna have the names anyway so if you don't remember the numbers it's going to say the name of whatever website we're on so go ahead and click on the jar fix one of course our written guide but the main thing in here so click this big blue button in here that says download jar fix here go ahead and click on that that is going to redirect you over here where the main thing is to click on this line that says jarfix.exe. Do not click anything else, jarfix.exe. As soon as you click that button, that is going to start download in the bottom left, as you can see here, jarfix has started downloading. Let's go ahead and drop that into the desktop as well. And obviously we need a shader pack. And what shader pack can I recommend to you guys? BSL shaders. Go ahead and click on that last link, which is going to bring you to BSL shaders. It should be the fifth link. Anyways, it's still gonna say something like BSL shaders. I have a video specifically on how to download and install BSL shaders, but in this tutorial, we're going to use them to make sure that the shaders work. Okay, so click on that link. It's going to bring you over here and click on this big button that says download BSL in here. The website should look like this. If the website has been updated, you're still going to find a big button that says download BSL somewhere. Okay, so go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you over here or you're going to scroll down a little bit and find Minecraft 1.19 on the right side. If by any chance you don't see Minecraft 1.19 in here, you could click on files right here on the top and then you scroll down until you find Minecraft 1.19. As you can see, we have many different versions in here. Anyways, the important one is Minecraft 1.19. I'm going to go ahead and click on download file. That is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds, the download will start automatically by itself. Let's just wait five seconds. Do not click anything else. Just wait until this WinRAR file has downloaded. There's a chance that you don't see these little books in here. That is because you don't have WinRAR installed. Do not worry. You don't need WinRAR for this. You just need to drag and drop this into the desktop. And now we can finally close out from all the websites. Let's get to work. The first thing that we need to do is install the Jarfix or run the Jarfix in other words. Go ahead and double click on Jarfix. Double clicking Jarfix is going to prompt you with the administrator's permission. Go ahead and allow it. And once you have allowed the Jarfix, this is what's going to come up, meaning that the Jarfix runs successfully. Go ahead and click on OK. We could get rid of the Jarfix installation for now or the Jarfix installer. And now we need to install Java 18th, the JDK 18th Windows. OK, but before you install Java 18th, you need to make sure you get rid of any version of Java in your computer. So go ahead and click on search and type add or remove programs. As you can see in here, we're going to open that up. And in here, we're going to type Java in the search list. Go ahead and type Java. And as you can see, I have Java 18 only installed, but many of you will either see Java 8, Java 7, or Java 17, or many of you won't even see anything. And you need to have Java installed, so install this. And you specifically need Java 18. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this Java installation so we could install the new installation with no problems. Even though this is the Java 18, I'm just doing this for the tutorial. If you already have Java 18, you could skip the Java step. That is going to be a quick step, anyways. But if you don't have Java 18, go ahead and get rid of any older installation. That is what I 
I recommend. As you can see, my screen went black for a moment because it asked for administrator's permission. If it's going to ask you, go ahead and allow it. It doesn't pick it up. The Streamlabs doesn't pick it up. Just allow it. Anyways, as you can see, now we don't have any Java instance in our computer. Let's go ahead and install Java 18. When you double click on it, it's going to prompt you with administrator's permission. Right now, you should be seeing a black screen. Yes, because the Streamlabs just simply doesn't pick it up. I just go ahead and allow it. And then this is what's going to come up in here. We're going to click next, next, and we're going to let Java 18 install. This should be a pretty quick and simple process. Installing Java is quite simple, actually. It's just next, next, next. And until it's done, let's just wait for that. As we can see, it has been installed. It says close in here. We're going to click close. And now we could get rid of the Java installer. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Now we only have Iris installer and BSL shaders. Before we run the installer, we need to make sure we open Minecraft 1.19 at least once. So just open your Minecraft launcher and run Minecraft 1.19 at least once on your computer or the installer won't work properly and you might have issues later on. Let's go ahead and double click on the installer just like this. And once the installer is open, this is what it's going to look like. As you can see, it says select edition. In here, we should only have Iris and Sodium. Let's go ahead and select that. And obviously from the Minecraft version, we're going to select 1.19 because that is the one we're using in this tutorial. Go ahead and click on install. And that should be actually a very, very fast process. Let's wait for that to be finished. And as soon as it says installation succeeded, we could close it out. It's not going to close out automatically. So we have to do that manually. Let's go ahead and close it. And now, yes, you guessed that we could get rid of the Iris installer. Now, how do we add the shaders into Minecraft? I'm going to let you know that Iris shaders actually supports a lot of the Optifine shaders. So we could probably add our favorite shaders in there. I'm going to go ahead and add BSL. I know for sure it works, but let's go ahead and do it. Open your Minecraft launcher, go ahead and find your Minecraft launcher. I have it right here. And we're going to wait for that to load. It should automatically have Iris selected in the bottom left. Like you can see in here, I have Iris already selected because we just installed it. But if by any chance Iris doesn't select in the bottom left automatically, we're going to click on installations on the top and we're going to make sure modded is selected. When we click on modded, Iris should come up. And if it doesn't come up, go ahead and click on new installation. Name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it whatever you want. <laughs> and then in here, inversion, we're going to scroll down until we find Iris Fabric Loader 1.19. As you can see, I have it right there. Go ahead and click on create on the bottom left. And that is going to add your Iris version down here. Those are some ways of finding Iris. Anyways, most of us are going to have Iris selected already down here. So what we're going to do, instead of clicking on play, we're going to come back to installations and click on this little folder in here. And you see that folder in there? Go ahead and click on that folder. Make sure it's the Iris one. That is going to open the Minecraft instance folder where we have all the stuff for Minecraft. And in here, we're going to look for a folder named Shaders Pack. Shader Pack, as you can see right here, we're going to open that folder. And yes, in here, we're going to drop the BSL file. Now, many of you won't have that folder, the Shader Packs folder. So what you're going to do is right click new and make sure you name shader packs just like that we're going to create that folder obviously i'm not going to create it right now because i already have it but most of you won't have it so just create that shader packs folder you're going to open that folder and drop your shaders in there i'm going to go ahead and drop that as you can see I have a lot of different shaders and for most of them they all work because i've tried them except nostalgia nostalgia is the only one that i haven't gotten to work yet but they're probably going to update it in the future and it will be compatible with 1.19 anyways once we drop the file in here we could go ahead and launch our game just to show you guys that the shaders do work i'm going to go ahead and click on play once we're in the game as you can see in here i'm going to click single player and i'm going to open this world which is the most recent world i have you could open any world because the shaders are going to work in any world that you already have and i do not remember if i already have shaders on if i don't i'm going to turn them on for you guys as you can see i do have them on it's on a spectator mode so i could get some nice thumbnails for these videos anyways how do you activate the shaders press on escape click on options video settings shader packs right here on the top and that is going to let you select the shaders that you want if by any chance the shaders are like this gray out and you can figure it out why just press this shader is disable button and that is going to enable the shaders as you can see i already have bsl selected and to go ahead and apply them and click on done 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 back to game so you can see we have shaders now here's a quick trick if you are in game and you want to disable the shaders without opening the menu just press k and as you can see that disables the shaders in game without having to open the menu if you press k again it's going to load them back up and if you want to open the shaders menu without going through the whole video settings just press o as you can see that opens the shaders menu back up we could close out of this and yeah that is pretty much how to install shaders or how to install iris so you could add shaders to the game and i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like and a comment and as always bye bye Bye.